Hello guys, so this is not a test of multi-threading because multi-threading does not work. Well, I get a couple of extra frames uh, or FPS, you know, I go, you know, 5 to 10 FPS more, but it's no smoother and I can't record at all because the window and stuff doesn't work. So I try to record multi-threading, testing it as everybody else, but the video comes out terrible either stretched or laggy. So I'm back to regular flying. Uh, it seems like the reg regular game has gotten some improvements anyway, so you know. I have to wait for ED to hopefully fix the window recording thing. Anyway, so not multi-threading. I just have to made, make something because you know I haven't made anything on the channel for almost a week now. And we're doing close air support in the jug. We're outside of Karantan Let's see if we hit anything. Ooh, close, but... No cigar, I think. The splash damage on the World 2 bombs are insanely bad. Like, I've done this mission several times because I'm using this as a benchmark for the multi-threading so I've been dropping bombs on Germans for two or three days now I've flown this mission probably five hours or something total and I can tell you I sometimes see the German guns inside the explosions of my bombs and they get they take some damage but they don't die it's insane how close you have to drop that bomb to do any damage to unarmored vehicles in World War II, man. Ooh, good one. I think I maybe got one there. I mean, I'm happy with that. Yeah, maybe I got one with that bomb. You know, even 500 pounders don't do a lot of damage. So yeah, let's show why the Germans feared the Jabos during the Normandy battle. The Germans basically had we're going a way around here to get a good gun run on one of those half tracks. The Germans feared the Jabos, particularly the P fifty P forty seven and probably also the Typhoon. They only moved at night or tried to because they would get strafed and bombed by the Jabos during Normandy. Much like any country the NATO forces decides to fight the last 40 or so years. You know, armed with basic artillery and some guns and they get bombed to death. Guns, guns, guns. Come on. Ah, God damn it! Whoa, getting too close, getting too close! I'm quite sure I actually hit a tree there. I'm surprised I'm alive. The tree went through my cockpit. I seem to have all my parts. However, it does feel weird. My force feedback stick is telling me if something's not right here. Oh well. So that's stupid of me, but it was so annoying not to able to hit. And there it blew up. Okay. Let's drop that last bomb. Maybe that will help flying here. 
go. Maybe hit? Nope, they're still firing. I mean, if you're... What are they, like 20 meters away from a 250 pound bomb? I don't think that gun would be functional anymore. It would definitely kill anybody around it who was gonna use it. Like, who? Right, there's range there. Ooh, they're blowing up stuff. The AI know what to do. There's some serious fighting going on there. Oh. Yeah, my plane is definitely acting up. It does not want to fly straight. I have to use a lot of rudder to try and keep her all afloat now. That will hap that's what's happened when you crash into a tree. Let's try another gun run on the second half truck there. Come on. Get that little pip around there without crashing into trees this time, please. Come on, and guns, guns, guns. I think I hit. Yep, it's burning. And where are those bombs going off? Oh, there's one over there. And there's one right under my wing. Hello. I don't think they actually killed it, though. They have the same loadout as me. Three bombs, one 500 pounder, two 250 pounders, and ten rockets. And, you know, crap ton of ammo. They're still firing. We need to stop them firing. They're hammering our troops here. Let's try and take that little tank here there. Don't know what kind of tank it is. Might be a Panther, might be a Panzer IV. Might even be a Tiger. And fire. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, so didn't fire on my left side. Chalk it up to the close encounter with the tree kind. I guess. I did get hit a couple of times with some bullets. Was that enough for me not to be able to fire them? No wonder this plane feels strange. And now it's completely out of whack, firing off five rockets on one side. But still having five on the other. Um, okay. Ooh. Yay! Good number three. Let's fire on these fuckers hiding in the woods. The anti tank guns. Come on. Ah, why won't you die? Yes! One pack 40 down. Starting to eat into them now. Just gonna extend a bit. Try and get another nice gun run on some of the other guns. But can I drop the goddamn rockets? Nope. Can't drop them. Would have been nice if I could. I don't know, maybe they're active or something now? I don't know. Maybe they'll explode when I land? I don't want them hanging under my wing there. Oh, they're shooting at me. How rude. 
Come on, come on, let me hit, let me hit something. Yes! Another pack 40 down. Ooh! They're rocketeering. They're not that easy to use those rockets when the uh, tanks are hiding in the bocage. The rockets hit the bocage and don't hit the tanks. I don't know if the Bokash would actually set off the rockets or if the rockets would go pass through them and hit the tanks, I don't know. The Bokash is rather heavily armored for a plant. It also has particularly nice damage things. Looks like they're supposed to be holes, they don't look like holes. Hmm, strange. So, yeah. Uh, not much fun for multi threading for me. Uh, you know, this mission, as I've said, been running that dozens of times now. I'm flying now, I have 45-50 FPS. It's a bit choppy sometimes when uh, stuff is happening. With multi-threading I get 55-60 FPS, so, you know, about 10% increase, so the choppiness is, ex is exactly the same. Doesn't matter. So, for me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't increase my enjoyment because the choppiness which is there uh, is still there ah oh. oh, come on let me hit what nothing God damn it I sprayed like 500 bullets in there okay so yeah and you know the worst part is that I can't video capture the game window or the DCS mirror is stretched, so you know it looks stretched when you capture it. And my computer never likes the um, VR window thing when I used uh, Steam VR and used the open uh, VR plugin for OBS. I got laggy video, and now I try to open XR VR window for OBS, and it's laggy. I don't know why. It's relatively smooth when I use the use the game window capture. Uh, it's a bit more laggy than it is for me. I've seen that on my videos. My video seems a bit more choppy laggy than it actually is for me flying, but it's better. But when I use those VR plugins, it's really choppy, like uncomfortable, like 10 FPS choppy. Guns, guns, guns. Come on. And I'm out of ammo. Man, those were hard to get. Strange. So yeah, I hope with the next uh, multi-threading patch that I can use it. Yay! He got what I missed. Good for you, number three. Number three is on fire today. Ooh, boom, boom. Yes. I don't know if it hit much, but it's definitely quiet though. There's not a lot of firing going on now. I think they've been mostly neutralized, even if there are some alive there. They've been mostly neutralized. So yeah, I hope the next patch uh, for multi-threading will give me more improvement, get rid of the choppy lagginess that's there, irregardless of or regardless, regardless is the word, regardless of um, FPS, I mean, I've decreased uh, the graphics to test and even if I have like 85 FPS, the choppiness is still there. Even if I lock it at 30 or 40 FPS, the choppiness is there. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It seems to be CPU based, which is what the multi-threading is supposed to fix. Let's do a little tour of the battlefield now. Down to guns. Okay. <coughs> guns liar. There's a tank hiding behind stuff. And the plane is really not comfortable to fly now. I'm struggling. 
I'm not really sure why I'm struggling, whether it's the bullets that hit me or if it's the, you know, the tree thing, you know, flying into a tree is never healthy for your plane, or so I've been told. Very quiet. They don't seem to be able to hit anything. They're running in, but I can't see them firing. Well, where are you running into? Keep saying running in, but I can't see anything happening. Oh, okay. They're basically taking pot shots at infantry now, so I'll say mission complete. They don't need us to waste a lot of fuel on shooting some infantry, the uh, ground troops can handle that. We're taking out the anti-tank guns, the artillery, the armor, half tracks. Mission complete, I say. So let's fly fast and low. Now, I'm not actually trying to bend this plane like this is what happens when I don't compensate, it will roll. But I don't understand why it would roll that way. The rockets are on the other side. Well, trees and stuff. I think I killed some stuff now, that's good. Basically just shooting infantry now, Flight. you can Flight. come home, fuel ain't cheap. Okay, let's see how it went. Billy Bob Bomber. I killed some artillery, I killed both the half tracks. I killed off track um, some some guy is shooting at me man I got shot by a guy with a mouser he shot me with a mouser yes of course shooting planes going 400 miles per hour with a bolt action that's realistic See you later, guys.